What is going on everybody? We're back again today and this time I'm going to be explaining how to install an old uh, version server for Minecraft. So like, let's say you wanted to use an outdated version like 1.12.2 or even 1.8.9 if you wanted a different PvP. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set all that up today. It's, it's really simple and easy. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new folder like we always do to put our stuff in and I'm going to call it old server. And you can name it anything you want, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to source the server jar straight from the Minecraft launcher. And it's a very easy way to do this. So we're going to open up our Minecraft launcher. And I'm not signed in. You don't even have to be signed in to do this. You can just click at the bottom there where it said continue without signing in. And then you want to go to the installations tab up here. And then you want to click new. And it before you click new, if you want to do a snapshot version or a historical version, make sure those boxes are checked. It'll give you more options in the drop down. But what we care about are release versions right now, so that's why we only have release checked. So we can click on new. And what we're going to do is we're going to, here's our list of different versions we can go through. So let's say we wanted to set up a, uh, a 1.12.2 server. We're going to click on release 1.12.2. Okay, so now that we've actually picked our release 1.12.2, we want to look for this little server download button. It's right up here. You're going to click it, and it's going to open up a web page, which is going to download a server jar. And of course, it's going to say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep the server.jar anyway? Now, what this is, is default Chrome always puts this message up for jar files because jar files can contain malicious code, which can hurt your computer. Now, we know that this jar file came from a trusted source which is Mojang you can even see it right up here in the URL we are on mojang.com so well we know that this is safe you only want to click keep if you know that it's safe so what we're gonna do is click keep so now that we've downloaded our server jar we're gonna let it you know finish and then we're gonna drag it onto our desktop okay so now that we have our server jar on our desktop right here you can see that we've downloaded it so this is our minecraft 1.12.2 server jar so we want to take that we're going to drag it into our old server folder that we made in the beginning and then we can open up that folder so now that we're in here what we can do is we have to create our batch file in order to run this server now this is the same exact process as every other server that we've created so go to new text document all right we're gonna call it start or run or you can name it anything you want it matters what's inside and then we're gonna edit this all right we're gonna use notepad for that so what we need to do is type the command Java tech XMX and this is gonna be the amount of RAM uh, that you want to Mac like the max amount of RAM that you want Java to use so we're gonna set that to, we really don't need it that big so we'll just do 1024 megabytes which is one gigabyte and then we'll do the same thing I usually like keeping these two values the same for our XMS value and we're gonna go 1024 megabytes and that's like I said one gigabyte and now we need to tell Java what type of file it is so we're gonna do tac jar and then what we need to do is type the actual file name now this is important this is where everybody keeps messing up whenever I see people doing this you see how this is called server.jar in here you need to make sure that the file name in the batch file right here says server.jar or you're telling this command to look at the wrong file or something that doesn't exist people will get this error message saying uh, can't access jar file uh, or something like that and that's because you're telling it to look for a file that's not there all right and that's pretty much all you need for the command what I like to add at the end of it is a no GUI so we don't get the native uh, Minecraft server GUI popping up it just takes up extra resources and literally is the same thing as our command prompt just way uglier so I don't like using it and at the bottom of the batch file hit enter go to a new line and then type in pause because what that'll do is stop the command prompt from exiting so if we have an error we can scroll up and read what our error is so you can file and we want to make sure we click save as once we make sure everything in here is correct go to file save as make sure you're in your old server like we are but change this uh, where it says save as file type down here change this to all files and then get rid of this dot txt in the file name and change it to a dot bat that's going to save this as a batch file that's probably the easiest way to do that all right, and now we actually don't need this text document anymore, so we can X out of it, and then we can delete the text document. So now we have our start.bat and our server.jar, and you guys can edit this bat just like a uh, text file by right-clicking on it and clicking edit, and it'll open in Notepad. 
So now what we can do is run this batch file, all right? And it's going to open up our server command prompt, which is our console, all right? And it's going to tell us that we need to agree to our end user license agreement in order to run the server. And you can see our pause command stopped that, so we were able to read all this. If you did, if you, if it just disappeared, that that's what happens when we don't have the pause command there. So now it says press any key to continue. Now that is the pause command running. So we can press any key to get past the pause command. And now that we have these extra files here, you can see it created a logs, our end user license agreement, our server.properties. Uh, so what we can do is we right click on eula.txt and then we edit it. And in here you can see uh, we have to set this value right here, EULA, to true. That's basically like checking the checkbox or on an end user license agreement. So then save that file and we can rerun the server by double clicking on our start.bat file again. And this time it should actually create our spawn area and create all of our extra files. If I drag this over here and this over here, you should be able to see a bunch more files being created in here now. And now that it's done, uh, we basically have our server here. So we can actually stop our server now. Some people have been messing this up too. If you guys want to exit out of your server or shut it down, please don't click this X because you can lose player data or you can lose, uh, basically it, the world won't save correctly. You can corrupt your world and yeah, you can just lose data that way. So the correct way to shut down your server is to make sure you type stop. Okay. And that will save all the chunks and then exit. You can see it stops the server, it saves the players and it saves the worlds. So that's what's important and then it stops the server. If you just X out, it stops the server without saving anything, and if it, the autosave didn't catch up, you might lose uh, some pr progress. So now our pause command caught it so we could catch all that. We can press in a key to continue, and now we can go over here and we can actually edit our server.properties file. Uh, we can change whatever we want in there. So now I'm gonna load up Minecraft 1.12.2 uh, on the other computer. And I'm going to try and join this, and uh, yeah, I'll show you that it is possible to join this, and it is indeed 1.12.2. Okay, so now that we are on Minecraft 1.12.2, you can see down here in the bottom left, we are indeed on 1.12.2. Uh, we can go to multiplayer, and we can direct connect to our server. So the IP address of that server was 10.0.0.204, and that should connect us right in. And here we are, we are on the Minecraft 1.12.2 server. Spawned on a little island, apparently. Look, there's a, a temple over there. And yeah, you can notice that, see if we, we don't have the, the new swimming mechanics. I'm hitting control, nothing's happening. So we are indeed on 1.12.2. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, if this helped you at any point in time, be sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe, and if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments section below. I'll try to answer them all. And uh, if you have any further questions, you can always hit me up on Discord. The link will be in the description uh, to get in my Discord server. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.